All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, just picked up an Xbox One from GameStop. And of course, the Halo Limited Edition, Mark Down of 3, $4,999. And actually, this is the last one that GameStop had. So for $3,49, got the Xbox One controller, no accessories, and of course, the Halo package is a DLC. Now, if we turn the box around. Now it's a picture of Master Chief right there. Xbox One picture on the other side. Then a quick listing of what comes with it. So of course you have the cables. And for some reason they don't tell you what Halo games come on here on the box itself. However, this should be explained once I open it. Now I'll take that back. It does say you get the Halo Master Chief collection as DLC. So now Gonna open it, pull this piece of tape off right here. Real careful. And unfortunately, you're gonna do some damage to the box just trying to get that tape off of there. So once that is done, pull the flap up. Open this portion. Have your style from right there, so you pull this out. There's a small box underneath there, and that's your console right here. So let me carefully pull this out. See what's in the smaller box before we get to the big prize itself. And some more stuff on the box. So basically now the box is empty. So pull it to the side. Open the smaller box. And this is what we have. So right here, I assume this is, yep. This should be the power brick. And it's a oh the power brick you can see is a very big brick. So you don't have to deal with the old school power supplies that actually take up half your uh, power strip like the old school Sega Genesis of the 30s and Sega CD, which is a complete nightmare. So fortunately we were past that day and age, so as I mentioned earlier, the power supply right here. And they probably get this thing so huge and separate from the console keep it from overheating like the <clears throat> 36 so I don't so hopefully I won't end up getting red rings of death, which is another reason why I did not buy this thing at lunch. Because number one, I was waiting for an actual bar, you know, waiting for the price to go down a little bit, get a combo pack, as well as let them run all the bugs out of the system first for purchasing it. Because trying to buy some lunch for of bucks with a whole bunch of bugs and no games, not good. Okay, so it's the power supply. It comes with a nice little headset. So extra feature you get with this by this package right now. So I've also not gotten this. Headset would not have came with it. So standardized headset. Microphone right here. I'm gonna look around and see if this is actually PC compatible as well, because this will actually be good for podcasts and other YouTube videos later on, if possible. And I'm speaking about YouTube, if anyone knows a good graphics card that's Linux compatible I can use to record Xbox footage, please let me know. And actually, after saying that, a lot of people have found that it's probably not PC compatible because the port is actually to go right into the Xbox controller itself, so yeah, that's probably not going to happen. So yeah, this is a semi-mic controller because it's actually well it's just a microphone but it's a separate attachment. And now here's the 360 controller itself. So of course you see there's a connection connected down here. Uh, assume that yep. Boom. Pop the microphone in there. Other side goes to your console and you're all set to go.
So that snaps in. Now your controller hits it and now together. And obviously you may want to go ahead and untie this so you won't get tech neck or a snap neck in this case. I'm trying to play this while I'm headset on at the same time. So basically, once you get that hooked up, you'll be looking like this. Yeah, bro, you just got bone, you just got bone. So yeah, so it works. Uh. And here's the instruction manual and the download codes are on the back of this. For, I'm sorry, download card for the actual game itself. If I was I'm not going to turn this thing over there. You see the code notes on there. And a few booklets. They know it comes with this thing. You can get like a 4 day, 14 day trial for Xbox Live. However, I won't be using this because when I purchased from GameStop, they actually got me a full year of Xbox Live for 40 bucks. So therefore, I won't need to worry about it. And here's the one year subscription card they gave me. Paid 44 instead of full 60. So yeah, they're like, yeah, we'll give you a discount on your Xbox One live account. So basically, I'm good until June of next year or July is well for me to combine this with the card that came with the system. And not for less, sorry, last but not least, I also had to pick this game up. The main reason why I brought the 360 initially, one, the 360 initially was for Killer Instinct. So now I'll push up Killer Instinct for the Game Boy, Super Nintendo, NC4, and now I just want to sell you up. At this point, I have all four versions of Killer Instinct. Alright, and honestly, what's left in the box is the actual power adapter to go into the power supply. Not too exciting. Right here. And last but not least, alright, so the final thing that's in the box is the HDMI cable. And of course, they won't see the HDMI cable, so you guys are like, why do you waste? But, well, here it is. If you're probably going to ask, have an HDMI connection on both my flat screen television as well as my projector. So, hopefully, if I can't find a good graphics card, I can still just record from a flat screen source. So, you won't see the scan lines you saw in my last Manjaro Lynch distro videos. I apologize for that, but I wanted to make sure I had a good network connection while working with it. And unfortunately, that was the only part of my house I actually had the, sorry, the part of my house where I actually had my. DSL connection was also in the same room where my modem was. I had a physical Ethernet port, which is also the room where my CRT was and not my flat screen. All right, nothing yummer right on. Yeah, so basically that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little unboxing of the Xbox One. And actually, <laughs> kind of like because I'm running my mouth talking about all the features and stuff, but then act open. The wrapping up of it, so ooh. So here we go. Actual front of the Xbox One. There's even a HMI label here and a little bit of a warning. The CD, DVD, ROM drive right there. Humongous cooling fan right here. Xbox logo is right there. Here's the back of that bad boy. There's the HMI ports. There's an HDMI in and out. And actually, will be an adapter coming out soon that you actually hook up a TVR into this. So you guys can record TV shows on here later on, which is pretty cool. Of course, your USB ports, your connect port, and then your input out, another IR port, and finally a hardwired Ethernet port. But I said this thing has wireless, so I won't need it. So I'll put this down, show you guys it one more time. And ironically, while well, I'm at it, might as well pull this out. Another game stuff went to a few weeks ago I had this on sale for 20 bucks. The old school connect with a power supply. Even though this will actually be used on my PC for a few mods and a few hacks versus the actual Xbox itself. So yeah, I got it just to kind of pretty much play around with my Linux distribution, maybe my Windows, my Mac, and of course the Raspberry Pi because actually our drivers get to stay and actually work with a lot of software and dub kits for pretty much every platform that's out there now. So it's not just confined to 
the Xbox 360, but it actually will work on multiple computers right now. And unfortunately, I don't think it will work with the Xbox One. And one gripe I have with the Xbox One, you see how it comes with this controller? I was talking to the people in games and they told me that this controller won't work with it. So my old 360 controllers, from what I've heard, will not work with this. If this is not true, please let me know because I'm not about to go out and buy an extra controller for a new system on the final my old controller for my PC will actually still work on it. And speaking about PCs, gaming, and modding and homebrew a little bit of hacking, next week Tuesday, I will have my open source slash arcade, uh, sorry, open source slash homebrew how to slash arcade event at Tech Town, which will be in downtown Detroit, hosted by BDPA, and it actually will take place next week Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. at Tech Town. So basically, I'll pretty much spend an hour, hour and a half spending you guys how to build your own video games from scratch for a PC. A few of the consoles are out there. A few ways to mod the consoles legally that you to make you be able to run the software. And last but not least, it's going to be an hour or so like playing around with a few games that have been modded and some of the open source stuff that's already out there. Alright, until next time everybody, peace out.